I'm Ed Massey of Massey Yacht Sales and Service. Myself and Jose Torres, also with Massey Yacht Sales, have put together a series of videos that takes you through all the steps involved in the commissioning and custom outfitting of a new Catalina 445. These videos start with the new Catalina 445 arriving at Sneed Island Boatworks in Palmetto, Florida. The series of videos will end with the five days of Massey owner orientation at Regatta Point Marina, also in Palmetto, Florida. We hope you will find this series of videos educational and enlightening. These videos will be posted on the Massey YouTube channel and the Massey website. If you find these videos of interest and would like to view additional Massey videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Feel free to contact me directly at 941-725-2350 or at edward m at massyyacht.com so this is how catalinas arrive from the factory bottom is not painted but it's not glossy and just put it up on the jack stands and get ready for the big process of setting up this is a catalina 445 brand spanking new they do come with a propeller already installed but there's uh, no sinks there's no bottom paint all of that is gonna get uh, address as part of the commission. You can see the boat is still wrapped up uh, and all the packet material and you get a ladder to get up there. There's the mass. It's a process to get the mass over here where it's going to get worked on. Hey guys, I'm here with Ed Massey of Massey Yacht Sales. There's a lot of experience when it comes to Catalinas, sailboats, powerboats, and this hat right here. So this is the guy you want to talk to when you're doing your brand new boat. And he's not only the owner of Catalina, but he's also the project manager for all of the commissioning of all of the brand new boats. So every boat goes through his expert hands and goes through a lot of quality checks. So everything the factory misses, Ed here is going to catch it. So Ed, tell us a little bit about the, the commissioning process. No. I'm Ed Massey. I'm glad you're here to watch the beginning of what it, the process that is normally uh, referred to as commissioning a yacht. And commissioning a yacht starts with the yacht being delivered uh, on a low boy yacht transport uh, trailer. Uh, Joel Yacht Transport in St. Pete is who brings all of the boats from Catalina here to Sneed Island Boat Works, where we are now. So step one is we get the boat off the trailer. We put it here uh, on the hard with these jack stands. Then we're going to take all the all the uh, plastic off of the spars. Uh, they're bringing up the mast now. And then uh, we will go inside the boat, get it organized, open up boxes. There's lots and lots of boxes. It's just a, it's kind of like a kit. There's all this stuff that we're going to take apart, stage it. And then uh, tomorrow we start the proper make ready, what we call make ready or commissioning on the boat. And it'll start with uh, the bottom of the boat has um, mold release wax on it and all that mold release wax has to be removed before we put on the several coats of two-part epoxy primer barrier coat and then a couple of coats of bottom paint maybe a halo coat as well take care of the underwater metals step the rig and then start all the custom work that we do as well so we're going to do this in several segments because it's a long involved process it'll take about six weeks to eight weeks depending on the boat and how much custom work we do on this boat there's quite a lot and we're going to be doing segments of each step of the way from here when the boat gets launched, when the rig gets stepped, we'll take the boat to Regatta Point Marina and we'll continue uh, doing the make ready there. So I think you'll you'll want to come back and watch each segment of this process and you'll learn a lot. Many people, not many people actually know everything that goes into getting a, a boat off the trailer into the hands of the new owner and out for owner orientation. So this will wrap up segment one. All right, this is how the mass comes in. That's a long boy there. This is a deck step mass. So they have a trolley on this side and a trolley on this side to support the mast because there's a lot of things that the rigger has to get done on the mast before it can be uh, stepped on the deck of the boat. So this is pretty exciting and uh, we're starting the unpacking process. So this is April. She's very shy. She doesn't want to talk on the camera, but she's the one that keeps things moving uh, here in the yard when we're doing all of this commissioning. The mast comes with a lot of things already in place. It's all wrapped up in plastic uh, and foam to protect it. But if you've never seen the mast head for a Catalina yacht, there you have it. So it's going to have the antenna. It has uh, some of the cabling already, you know, run through the mast. Can I try to keep it easy? You have the brackets for the stays. The lines already uh, ran through the mast and already color-coded to 
make it simple to for the setup. We have here the connection for our first set of spreaders, on the 445. That big barrel is the chain for the anchor. It comes on a barrel that they bring with the boat, uh, or they deliver here to the marina so we can get it loaded up there. Uh, April already unpacked the boom, which you can see it also has all the lines already uh, ran through and it's ready for install once the mask gets installed. A lot of boxes to open up, a lot of work that goes into it. So this is equipment, you know, this is just part of it. Equipment that's gonna go on the boat. That's kind of a hatch to put on the boat temporarily while they do the, whatever work has to be done to set up the proper hatch. Uh, some lines, uh, some fenders, and we have Ed here uh, setting things up or getting the boat ready so we can go up and down and start the process of uh, unboxing, which is what probably be most of today in the commissioning process. All right, so we're gonna go up the ladder and check things out. Welcome to a brand new Catalina 445. This is kind of how the boat comes from the factory. You can see that everything is, is wrapped up and taped up. Cockpit table taped up. And as we move forward, we're gonna see what comes inside. You can see some of the installation is partially done. That's the Garmin GPS and compass. And actually that's a Sirius XM antenna. Looks very different than the time that you see it on a lot of the other videos so we're going to step out of the cabin everything is still in boxes and wrapped in so galley is still wrapped up in plastic this bad boy is getting a washer dryer unit so i see the seldom firmer those boxes are probably wire or cushions electric cables short power cord sails cushions no, all the stainless still has all the protective plastic. I have no idea what this is. Uh, I think some of these are the battens uh, for the sails. These are some of the cushions up forward. There's uh, some of the electronics that still have to be installed. Mattress still nice and wrapped. For here, the head, the, the teak grid is wrapped up so it stays nice and neat. Mirrors are covered. So pretty neat. Um, this is kind of what the boat looks like when it comes out of the factory and it gets uh, delivered for commissioning. So how cool is that? Now you never knew how a brand new boat comes from the factory. So now you're getting a first hand look at you know all of the things that still have to get done on the boat to get it ready for the new owner. This boat already has an owner. He's been sending things that he wanted to configure for the boat. So there's a lot of neat stuff that's here specific for his design of what he wanted on the Catalina. So as we continue to go through this process, uh, we're gonna hear from it as to all the different things that go into it, uh, all the project coordination that has to take place. There's electricians, there's riggers, there's the marina uh, here that has to help with uh, getting every, everything set up and mounted on the mast and the boom before they pick it up to you know install it on the boat. Get all the wiring done for your uh, stays and trout. So lots of work, folks. But this is going to be pretty neat to watch on video. So we'll we'll keep going with this. So Ed, how how early do you start ordering things for the new boats? I started ordering lots of items for this boat three months ago in terms of just the normal make ready items, and then we started ordering um, electronics and other gear. Well, lots of gear about three weeks ago we've already got the factory we bought all the nav electronics from the factory but then we have other electronics we have a, a starlink we have iridium go exec uh, we've got um, a, a carbon aluminum hybrid whisker pole with the track so all of that had to be ordered quite a while ago some of the items are still back ordered which is common these days so you you know normally you got to start planning ahead for a brand new build, brand new boat, and start getting things ordered so they get here on time about the same time the boat is, is coming here. Exactly. So that takes a lot of coordination and effort on your part. Well, we have, we develop a work order for every yacht, and we assign kind of a division of labor as to who does what, who orders what, and then part of my job as the project manager, if you will, is to carefully touch base with about five different fellows in this case and just make sure we're all on the same page going back several months. And then I continually uh, correspond or talk to or call, email, photograph, uh, things on the boat for the new owner so they'll know what we're doing since they're somewhere else, maybe not local at all, and they won't have seen their boat for probably a couple of months from the time it was shipped until it's almost ready for them. So I like to communicate every day or two days 
with pictures uh, and then a commentary as to what we're doing. Excellent. We got here how much? How many feet of chain we got in there? Well, that's 200 feet of uh, 5 sixteenths grade 43 G4 uh, galvanized chain, anchor chain. And then I've got 175 feet of 5 5 eighths uh, New England rope, anchor rope that will be spliced to the chain. So okay. that will give this owner 375 feet of uh, ground tackle, plus a 55 uh, pound Rockna anchor with a Mantis stainless steel swivel shackle and also a um, Mantis chain hook. Uh, and then we also have a stainless steel chain stopper. And that's part of our ground tackle pack. So now we gotta get all of that out yeah. there. <laughs> Right. So, Ed, over the next six weeks, what are the kind of, if you had to break it up into the kind of the five big areas, what, what would those areas be that uh, go into the commission? Generally speaking, the way it works is the boat's here in the yard, and two things will happen, notably, uh, two things will happen in the yard in terms of installation. One is to do the bottom job, and I've kind of described how we do that. Then we have to step the rig, and before we step the rig, any custom items that are going on the mast uh, will be installed and that'll be kind of step one and then part of step one is April Fisher, very experienced yacht detailer and I will go through the boat and we will take off the coverings that are uh, on the boat for shipping protective covering. We will remove all of those actually today and then we will break open all the boxes that you've just seen and we will stage everything in the areas uh, in terms of what those components are and where they're going to go. And that will help Ted Wyrack, who is an innovative marine, uh, who does, he'll step the rig, bend on the sails, he and I'll bend on the sails together. He'll run all the standing rigging, running rigging that isn't already run uh, and that will be phase one. Then phase two We'll launch the boat. Uh, I'll drive the boat to Regatta Point Marina. We have a slip waiting for the boat there. And then we will continue doing what we call MEPQC. That's Mechanical, Electrical, and Plumbing Quality Control Check. And we'll check every system on the boat actually several times. Uh, there'll be a few little what I call gremlins uh, hidden in the boat somewhere. Just little things that didn't, weren't perfect. And we'll ferret those out and uh, fix those. Uh, and that'll be step two. And then step three, uh, Steve Lippincott of Lippincott Marine Canvas will build this massy Lippincott designed custom Bimini Dodger windshield cover canvas package. And that, of course, will have the polycarbonate uh, windshield, the hard windshield, and then our, all of our upgraded things that we do for all of our boats on the canvas package. And that's kind of step three. And then on this boat, step four, they want davits on this boat. So I'm working with Cato Marine. And we'll do custom uh, davits for the boat. We'll also do um, the custom solar installation panels. We're putting two 380 watt panels on the boat with a Victron smart controller. Uh, we'll also then, of course, install the Iridium Go Exec and the Starlink, and then we will start checking all those out. And that's that's the next step. And then the next step will be uh, we get all of that done, all those things done. We go on ahead and all the installs are done at this point and we will take the boat out in the river and myself and Jim Friend of Friendship Marine will calibrate all the um, nav electronics and we go out in the river, do some circles, we check the radar, we make sure everything's calibrated just right, we set the offsets for the depth sounders for example and so when we go through all of that we're getting towards the end now and then the next, the final step is we will have the new owners of the boat come to us and we assign them five days of actual owner orientation. The first day I go through the boat, every system on the boat and the owner's manual, show them where everything is located and, and kind of how you get to it, how all the breakers are, where the seacocks are. Uh, so we do a, a, a systems review and a owner's manual review most of the first day and then part of the first day, Jim Friend from Friendship Marine again comes and does several hours of owner orientation with the new owners on all of, in this case, the Garmin Nav Electronics. And then after that, we start four days of one-on-one, -on -one, one owner orientation uh, on the boat with a licensed captain instructor uh, with vast, vast experience. And we have three or four fellows that will do that work depending on who's available because they're all delivery skippers also. And then after the four days of their instruction, we'll just spend time on the boat with the owners and make sure maybe Maybe we'll go back and review a few things. It's hard to remember everything over the five-day period. And after that, really, the owners are ready to leave with their boat. And if they need help moving the boat anywhere, uh, we have skippers that are, they've been everywhere you'd ever want to go in a boat. So those are about the five phases of 
the make ready sequentially. Hey gang, so you see here the mask completely unwrapped. You see the brackets for the shrouds, the spreaders. Um, this is where the spreaders, how the spreaders come in. They have to be installed on the boat. April's still doing some of her magic on packing all this stuff here, getting it ready so they can start the, the process of uh, uh, setup. We hope you have enjoyed these videos showing how we commission a new Catalina. Massey offers the yacht owners the opportunity to spec out many custom installations in addition to the various Catalina factory options. If you find these videos of value and would like to view additional Massey videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Feel free to contact me directly at 941-725-2350 or at edwardm.massyyacht.com. And remember, Catalina yachts are uniquely American with a strong focus on performance, safety at sea, and enduring value. They are overbuilt and underpriced, and that's why Catalina yachts are the sailor's choice.